Hi, this is Danny D and welcome to Pathways of Hope. You know, it is so timely that we reflect on today's gospel from John chapter 6 verses 37 to 40. Today, all souls day. In today's gospel, God says, For everyone who believes in my son, he will receive eternal life. Just how good is it to be promised eternal life? And the answer is, it depends. You know, there's this uh, Korean novella entitled The Guardian. I don't know how many of you watched that. The main character was cursed to live forever. And after living many centuries, his only dream is to get out of the curse already and, and die. On the other hand, there is the story of Colton Burpo. Uh, when he was three, he had a near-death experience and uh, experienced life, experienced a little bit of life in heaven. He sat on the lap of Jesus. It was so clear and vivid to him. 20 years after, today, until today, he still keeps talking about it in interviews as he is uh, invited as a speaker all over the world. And there are many such stories of uh, near-death experience and ex experience of a glimpse of heaven. And um, some of the common messages are, number one, of course, is that heaven is real. And that whatever we're going through today is temporary, which gives us so much hope. Two, that we don't have to wait until we get to heaven to have a relationship with Jesus because, because God and Jesus longs for us today. Not tomorrow, not then, but today. And third, that there's so much to look forward to. Colton says, you know, there's so many amazing things about life on earth. But his best description of heaven is that it's like earth, only perfect. There's perfect joy that awaits us. So the answer is, it depends. Do you see eternal life as a curse? Or do you see it as a beautiful place that awaits us? And for those of you, like me, who, who long for this, for this eternal life that, that God promises. Today's gospel teaches us how we get there. It says, all those the Father gives, gives me will come to me. And whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. Why? For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And what is his will? Is for Jesus to lose none of those who were given him, but raise them up on the last day. So what shall we do? For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life. Looks to the Son and believes in him you know when he's when when we see look upon and look to the sun in scripture it means to pay attention to pay attention to jesus and and, and god will send so many opportunities for us to pay attention to jesus maybe it's in scripture maybe it's through our priest's homily, or through a friend, or through an experience in our day-to-day -day lives. And God does not want us just to listen, but to look upon Jesus, to gaze upon Him, to gaze into His eyes with love, and experience in return the love of Jesus. And that is transforming. And only till then can we do the second one, which is to believe in Him. To trust and entrust. To trust that whatever we hear, 
that the Lord will fulfill. And, this, and trust that everything in this world is from God and is owned by God except our will. And the long the Lord longs for that will. In uh, the the Catechism of the Catholic Church, uh, chapter 161, it says, Therefore, without faith, no one has ever attained justification, nor will anyone obtain eternal life. I pray for this faith. I pray for the faith for us to believe that there is a God, that there is Jesus, and there is heaven that awaits us. And as and today, as we remember the loved ones who have gone ahead of us, our relatives, our friends, who we believe are well and alive, and that we pray to them, that we may in turn live this life in the hope that one day we too shall receive God's promise of eternal joy in heaven. May we live this life believing that. Have a great weekend.